We got a few bananas here. That should get Joseph through a couple days. But you guys get to have six pieces of chocolate from here today. Yeah, More than 24 hours, probably about 30 hours, I would say. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Maria and I have just dropped off Joseph and Peter at their Friday school, and so we are gonna head in and... Um, secret Santa shopping. <clears throat> yes, we are gonna do some secret Santa shopping, aren't we? So that is what we have going today. My, We're gonna head into all these. I have to get a couple, um, just a couple grocery items. We happen to eat up, whoop, shh, shh, shh. We happen to eat up all of our lettuce, and then I still wanna make my broccoli salad today, and we actually, um, ate up the like quick bacon you know that pre-cooked bacon so i do we are just going to run into aldi here and get a couple groceries joseph ate basically all 10 bananas over the last day or two so we're going to get some more bananas as well because i have other kids that are like hey we want a banana too so we're going to get in and do that aldi is opening in just two minutes and we have not been at aldi in such a long long time i feel like it was for like at the very beginning of November. So for like my big November once a month grocery haul, that's when I think I was at Aldi's last and it's already December 6th today it is. Yes. So um, yeah, so Maria and I are gonna go do a little shopping. Come along. We got a few bananas here. That should get Joseph through a couple days. <laughs> Maria said she's gonna sneak one in the car on the way home. We need to get some lettuce, honey, okay? Let's get some nice looking lettuce. Let's look at this. Last time, this didn't hold up real well, but... Hmm. Should we go with the romaine hearts? Those are $2.39. Yeah, let's get those. That looks good. Okay, so Maria <laughs> is making us spend a whole lot of money today, aren't you? <laughs> she reminded me that... Peter had put in a special request for a birthday cake, and that's coming <laughs> next week, so we better get the white cake mix for that. I did see the sparkling cranberry um, drink, and I'm gonna tuck this away for Christmas Eve. And these. We thought we needed some um, chocolate, chocolate chips. chips. Peter wanted to write on his cake in green, so we picked up one of these because it has and a green one in there. And we got candy canes for on our tree. <gasps> yes. On our tree. We needed some candy canes for when we put up the Christmas tree later. And it's also St. Nicholas Day. So I'm going to pick up some of these coins, these little chocolate coins. And we are going to pass those out today. Do you want to pass those out for St. Nicholas Day today? To where? Why? Well, like to your brothers and sisters? Oh. Yeah. Wait, it's... It's St. Nicholas Day. The feast of St. Nicholas today. Remember? He went and secretly gave coins to the poor sisters, remember that? Golden ones? Yes, he gave them actual golden coins so that they could have a dowry for getting These married. We're at Walmart, we're, what, we're in the chocolate section. I know, yeah. okay, let's keep shopping. It's a giant llama. Oh my gosh. With a rainbow saddle. Who does not need a giant llama, huh? With a rainbow sa Look saddle Look at that. With <laughs> So I'm not sure if you guys have ever bought Aldi clothes, but I have always been very impressed. They have like some long sleeve t-shirts for little boys. We've gotten shoes a lot of times here. I mean, $6.99 for a little pair of, um, or for a pair of little girl ballet flats. That's a steal. It's a different kind of Oh, girl. are they cute? It's Slippers. It's a sky on that yeah. side. And... Everest on that side. Oh, right. All right, They're you guys can sizes. open those up as long as you can tell me the story of St. Nicholas, right? It's not just a story. I mean, it's a it's truth, um, but uh, let me think. <laughs> no, there were was it three girls or two girls? Oh, uh, they were getting married and they had no money. So what he did is he took a sack of coins, right, and he put them in, uh, like through their window or, or something mm -hmm. first. But then he did it before, and then he and then he, they started doing stockings, and then he would just put them in stockings, and it would like be a little. A bag of coins. Mm -hmm. What is St. Nicholas trying to teach us? To be generous. Yes, to be generous. So we got hey, Mom. some little gold chocolate. coins. Chocolate money. Those are fun, aren't they? Mom, they even sound like metal. They do. Very it's cool. Tin foil. This is metal. Yeah. It is. It's a type of foil. Okay. Just a full 
told you it was kind. Alrighty, so we're home. I think I pretty much showed you guys everything that we got while it was in the cart at the store. But okay, just in I case. Okay, Maria. Shh, shh. I did spend $61 today. This looks like kind of just a typical fill-in haul, I guess we'd call it, or just kind of like a little, or just a little kind of stocking up on the things we have run out of, kind of grocery shopping. Anyway, there's three gallons of milk out in the refrigerator. We did get a gift that Maria is keeping a secret right now, so that was part of the $61. Yeah. But we picked up two things of bacon. We got some bananas, which, um, like I said, hopefully these will keep Joseph going for a couple days. A classic white cake mix, because Peter wants white cake with chocolate frosting, I believe, and then he wants to be able to write something on, I, I wrote it down someplace, but I'm gonna have to dig that out again. He wants to write that in green. I did get a bag of sugar because I'm just about out and I kind of want to do some baking. Some mini chocolate chips. We already used the bag of M&Ms and made cookies and ate them all already. So I know we're going to want to make some more of those. Some of the sparkling cranberry um, juice cocktail, that's what that's called, for Christmas Eve. A couple um, boxes of candy canes for the tree. We did get some nuts and then some... Oh, you got the big... Uh... Nuts that you have to crack? Yes. Thank God. I don't think they're made. I know. And we picked up one thing of plain bagels. Maria's been asking for a long time, and so yes. she's happy for that. Uh, I got some romaine. Now that I'm showing the nuts, that's what I want you guys to hop on over to the community tab and share with me, is some kind of, you know, something that really reminds you of Christmas as a child. Oh, my gosh. I remember nuts being on the table at my grandparents' Yeah, I see and great, we'd have. I see great grandma having these out all the time. Oh yeah, I don't even have the old-fashioned kind of nutcracker that they had, but. Well, yeah, you I, do. Do I still have one? Yes, you do. I thought it broke. It better not have. I thought the spring had popped out of it. I don't know, but that thing is sharp. Ouch. Yeah, I think the spring popped out of it, and we couldn't get the spring to get back in. So. This is my handy dandy nutcracker. Not quite the same as the old fashioned one, but this is just something that takes me straight back to childhood. At Christmas time, sitting over at grandma and grandpa's around their table with them and my mom and cousins and whoever else was over visiting and we would just sit and crack nuts and grandpa seemed so strong because he could pop those nuts open and gosh, I just seemed to, you know, kind of mangle them up as a little girl, but anyway, that is kind of something that has been pretty much a standard here for Christmas Eve. Last year I forgot to buy them and yeah, Nick came uh, over uh, and he's like, where's the nuts? Uh, it's yeah, like, that's what um, I was going to say. We didn't have them last year. Yeah, I like, know. No. <laughs> I was like, nuts. what? There's no nuts? <laughs> so I found them and I snatched them up real quick. Just saying the last ones to be uh, eaten will be what? Anyways, these... Um, the Brazil nuts? The Brazil nuts and the uh, uh, hazelnuts. Oh, I love the hazelnuts. Those hazelnuts are my favorite. Are bitter. Mm, I love the hazelnuts. And the pecans are always good too, but I don't do a good job I don't of cracking know what these pecans. Are. These like tan ones, but yep. those are the best. Almonds. I don't remember Almonds. any nuts at Christmas. You don't remember nuts at Christmas? Nope. Oh my goodness. Well, you'll remember them this year because we're talking about them now. Over the last couple of months, I have bought fresh broccoli, I think two or three times to make broccoli salad, and I never got around to it. We always ended up just making the broccoli with something else. Anyway, today was just the day. Um, we got back from town and I said, I am making this broccoli salad. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at it. Uh, this recipe here was in a newspaper a long, long time ago. The newspaper was called uh, Country Today. I don't even know if that's still in publication, but it was from the Wisconsin State Cranberry Growers Association. So I'm gonna see if I can just find a link um, to this recipe for you guys. But the top portion, so the broccoli, the onion, the sharp cheddar cheese, the bacon, the sunflower kernels, and the sweet and dried cranberries, they're, I mean, they give you amounts here. I just do, I've made it enough that I just do whatever I want. Basically, a whole bunch of broccoli, a small amount of onions, a lot of cheese, a lot of bacon, a lot of cranberries, and a lot of sunflower seeds is what I do. And then there's the dressing. So this dressing is just mayo and the red wine vinegar here. The recipe calls for a half cup of sugar. I always put that a little less at a third of a cup of sugar. And sometimes, depending on how many cranberries you put in, you can even lower that a little bit more. And then it has the half teaspoon of salt and the fourth teaspoon of, uh, I do just fresh 
ground black pepper. Shake it all up here. I just use canning jars for everything I can. Shake it up, I'm gonna pour that over top of here and then I'm just gonna let this sit. And lunch is in an hour, so that's gonna be perfect. It's gonna have just enough time to kind of sit and uh, the flavors will kind of meld and that's gonna be lunch today for me. And then maybe I'll make some pizzas or homemade mac and cheese for everybody else, so. things I should point out just um, in case you make this that make the salad I think extra special and one I like uh, actually just using black cheese and cutting it into little tiny cubes rather than using shredded cheese the shredded cheese once this you know if you don't eat it all in one day and it has to be refrigerated overnight I feel like the shredded cheese just gets a little bit um, mushy and so I like using uh, I like cutting it up into little cubes and I just think it looks prettier that way too and then also for ease, I just use the pre-cooked bacon. I use whatever size pack they sell at Aldi's. I just do the whole the whole box and just um, cut it up with my kitchen shears there and put it in there. It makes it so easy. Yes, I do think that there would be better flavor if I would actually cook uh, fresh bacon until it was just almost crisp and then put it in here, you know, at the last minute. But this just makes it something that I can actually accomplish without it feeling like it takes all day. So just wanted to share that with you. The St. Nicholas candies are quickly dwindling away. And I want this one. Yes, Maria reminded me. She's like, Mom, remember those little December calendars Santa. with the candies in them? <laughs> I was so on the ball this year. I, I got all the advent calendars. I was going to pass them out at Thanksgiving to everybody so that I could give one to Emily and Sparky and to Nick. Anyway, I didn't. How do you <laughs> Here it is? is, December 6th, and I'm just, just a second, Peter. Can I get my very own? And I am yeah, just right. now pulling them nah. out because you're am or <laughs> I don't even know the names of my kids because and Maria reminded me. So sure, Maria's so, gonna hold them up. Okay. That's my toy phone. Okay, so there's this one, the oh. little Santa or elf something. Yes. <clears throat> and then there's the gingerbread house. Very cute. The little gingerbread kids. The one has a Santa hat, a little <laughs> bow tie. Very sweet. And then the nutcracker. With a little blue Christmas tree. Oh yes, that one's cute too. Is there one more? <coughs> yes, one more. Kind. Oh, one more. And it's like a little miniature cat. Yep. Yes. Oh, I think this is my favorite. Oh, I love the little, the um, little cottage and oh, yeah, just so cute with the deer one. out front. That one's cute. Mm -hmm. So the German club was I having a sale, them? and I guess this is German chocolate. So I picked these up. Yes, Peter, you may open that one up. Can I that can be out? yours. Uh, yes, we're going to put names on all of these, okay? Oh, I'll write my own name. Name. Do you even know what the word is? <laughs> name. Name. Not okay. Arm. Name. Name. Okay, so let's get that done. And then guess what? You guys get to have six pieces of chocolate from here today. Yeah, because we skipped some days because Mom forgot to bring them out at Thanksgiving. I know. 
this is just solely to say thank you to my mom. She made me this wreath and I just wanted to say thank you. I put it out on the front and it just looks very, very pretty. Maria loves it too, so thanks a lot, mom. So I don't know if I've mentioned this much around here, but this weekend Warren and I are actually um, going away for like more than 24 hours, probably about 30 hours, I would say. And we're gonna make every single hour count. It is our 23rd wedding anniversary on Saturday, and which is pretty cool, because it's like the exact day, you know, Saturday, December 7th. So that's when we would have got been married 23 years ago, actually on the Saturday. So anyway, um, last year we, also took a little overnight trip but we took the whole family we took everybody we took everybody at the time we took a fiance along we took a friend along we just took everybody and just made a big overnight of it in lacrosse we went to see um uh, tim hawkins he's just a fun comedian and went out to eat for two different meals i think and lost joseph for a little while um <laughs> so it was it was just a grand old time but this year just Warren and I are going. And so we worked it all out with Amber. She was able to get off of work or she requested off in enough time. And um, yeah, she's just being very, very gracious, I have to say. Sam also has a violin -y event. Did I just say violin -y? He has a violin event um, that he has to play for at a nursing home this weekend. And so she's actually gonna take everybody <laughs> <laughs> and take Sam to that and um, yeah there's just kind of a lot of things she's gonna have to get everybody to church and everything because Warren and I are just gonna go to church right in the town where we're staying so we are really really looking forward to this I don't always say a whole lot about you know some of these things just because I don't know when I'm gonna get my videos put up and I don't want to um, you know I just don't want to like give away information like oh the kids are gonna be home alone or something like that that would be horrible but um, so by the time this goes up we'll be already back home and the anniversary weekend will be over and we'll be just back to the daily grind again by the time you guys see this but happy advent we're saying merry christmas all the time but it really isn't christmas yet so let's make sure we're preparing our hearts all right you guys have a great day bye